Hello once again everyone, this is Joe Hendy from AndroidAuthority.com and today we'll be taking a closer look at Truck Pulling. It's a game about truck pulling and it's available in the Google Play Store for 99 cents. There is a lot of stuff to look at in the menus, including your garage, store, options, and extras. Under garage you can see the various trucks you own. If you click on them you're taken to a screen where you can buy upgrades or get a closer look at the model. In the store, you can view a variety of trucks you can buy once you get enough money, which is earned in-game. You can choose from a variety of trucks in a variety of categories, including stock, pro stock, two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, and super semi. In the options menu, you can choose your game settings. This includes OpenGL 1.1 or 2.0, anti-aliasing, shaders, specular lighting, profile name, and class. You can switch between these as you please, but some may not work if your hardware can't handle it. Extras are apparently coming soon. The game begins by choosing your class. In the beginning, you'll be doing stock and working your way up to super semi. You'll then choose between county, state, regional, national, or grand national stages. Then you'll choose between the venue where applicable. From there, you'll choose the settings. The game will tell you the condition of the track so you can choose the appropriate tire pressure, weights, and gear. Once done, it's time to start. There are two options when it comes to view. You can drive in first person view or hit the camera icon to change to third person view. For the record, it's a lot easier in third person view. Pulling trucks is very easy to play from this point. You hit the red button in the center to get the truck moving, and use the left right buttons on the sides to steer. The goal is to get the truck the full 300 feet to complete the pull, and then finish clean to get an additional distance at the end. Fence. Sometimes there is one round and other times there are two. You are judged by distance. Whoever gets the best distance wins. If you go off the side, you get disqualified. If you don't get the best distance, you don't win first. It's easy as that. Although it's surprisingly addictive, it's also surprisingly simple. Pretty much every round has you dragging something down a short stretch looking for the best distance. The controls work well and the ability to change your truck settings adds a strategy element. So we gave gameplay a score of 4 out of 5. The graphics in this game are... eh... They're not bad, but they're not that good either. Everything looks the way it's supposed to, but the developer clearly paid more attention to how the game plays than how the game looks. That's not necessarily a bad thing, but it's not a good thing either. The only real gripe with the graphics is the fact that you can drive off the track, and that makes it look a little cheap. Fence. Despite some graphical complications, it is an improvement over 2D games, so we gave the graphics a score of 3 out of 5. This is a very long game. There are hundreds of events to play, so gamers who pick this up with the full intention of finishing it will be playing for a long time. To unlock all the levels and all the trucks will not be a task that can be done in one day. However, there is very little incentive to play this game once it's done. About the only replay value at all in the game comes from trying levels over and over again to get first place. Although you can advance with second or third place finishes, who doesn't like having a long list of gold stars next to each event? With that in mind, we gave replay value a score of 3 out of 5. All in all, you have a game that's easy to play with enough content to last for a while. The graphics aren't the best, and once you get done with the game, there is no incentive to play again. But that shouldn't hinder the enjoyment of playing the game the first time. Obviously, if you're not into trucks, pulling, or truck pulling, then you won't enjoy this game. If you're a fan, or you don't know if you'd like it or not, it's definitely worth checking out. It's not the most exciting game out there, but it's still quite enjoyable. So we gave it an overall value of 3.5 out of 5 stars. Once again, I'm Joe Hendy from AndroidAuthority.com. Feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel or stay connected with the social media sites in the video description.